Hey guys, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my everyday makeup drawer. This is the area that I get ready at every time I go out, every time I film a video. So I like to just keep certain products within reach at hand. And yeah, so let's just get started. So here is my desk. I was having some lemonade. Look at my cup, you guys. Cat lady, that's so me. But yeah, this is where I get ready and I film all that great stuff, do homework, study, this is it. So I have everything organized in here, kind of in a specific way, but it's nothing too serious. All right, let's start off with foundation. So I have my two favorites here, the Urban Decay Naked Skin and the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I love these two. They're kind of like my favorite high-end, favorite drugstore of the moment. Actually, they've been for a while, but you guys get the idea. I just love them. So I get the shade 1.0 for this and the shade 112 for the Fit Me, and they're both really good matches for me. And the Fit Me is the matte and poreless formula but i still love it even though i have dry skin it's crazy but i love this stuff and then i've really been into these lately this is a newer item for me that i've just been kind of like testing out i guess you could say so they're the makeup forever ultra hd foundation sticks and i have the shade 115 and 117 and i kind of just mix them together but they're both really nice i like them so far so good my carmex i just have the original little pot here i use this a lot when i get ready when i do my makeup i just put some of this on and kind of get my lips ready for lipstick this is the primer that i currently have it's the makeup forever hydrating primer i do really like this one but there are better primers i feel like i think the laura mercier one is more hydrating for me and then for concealers i have my Too Faced born this way the shade fair i love this as you can see i've pretty much used it all the way up and i have one that i just purchased from ulta's website i i really love this one it's my all-time favorite so far i have the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is the shade number 15 because number 10 is actually too dark for me so it's kind of like a tricky shade thing going on but just get 15 if you are more cool toned and last on the end here I have the Maybelline Better Skin now this one is a little too dark for my face so what I actually like it for I like to use the Better Skin on my eyelids as a primer for my eyeshadow and it works so well for that it's amazing so there we have it that's like my base products and this drawer does change a lot I mean, I just use whatever I have at the moment. The only thing that doesn't change is like the Too Faced concealer and then the Maybelline foundation. I usually always have those two things in here, but everything else really does change up. So let's move over here to cheek products. This one usually changes up quite a bit too. Okay, so first up here, this is my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I just use the light shade. As you can see, I've really hit pan on this one. I use it all the time. It has a really nice kind of like satiny finish to it. It's not super matte which is why I like it. I feel like it really flatters my skin tone, the color, the finish, everything about this one. I love this bronzer. I have some loose powder in here. This one is from Cover Effects, and I've actually almost used this up. Like I have just a tiny bit in here, but I'm still working on it. I do like this powder. It is matte. There's nothing in here that's glittery or anything. So it's a good translucent powder. And then for blushes here, I just have two very basic everyday colors. This is what I like to keep on hand for when I just have have to get ready um, it's really handy to just have colors that I know we're gonna work with whatever this blush is from the Sephora free birthday gift and the shade is called party I love this one I wear this one a lot I really love it I do like the Tarte blushes they're really nice like if you need something that lasts all day these are really good so I just keep that one in here it's such a cute color and I love how tiny it is I like this size so much this one is a newer purchase for me I talked about this on Instagram you guys this is amazing like what this formula is so good it's the essence satin touch blush and i have the shade number 20 satin love it's really good and then also from essence here is the pure nude highlighter this is what i wear on days where i don't want a super glowing highlight like if i want something more natural this is what i go for and when I do want something kind of intense, I go for the Ofra. These are actually pretty intense, like metallic looking, but I do like that look. I mean, I really like both looks. It just depends when I want that day. And this one is in the shade Blissful. So that's that. And then when I want something really crazy, I've been using the Artist Couture Powder, which I also talked about in my favorites. And this is in the shade Illuminati. This powder has glitter in it. It is so, it is like a mermaid fairy dust powder. It's really fun and pretty. And this little thing is a newer product I'm kind of trying. Well, it's new to me. It's the Pure Cameo Contour Stick. I've just been using this lately. I do like it. The shade is very warm toned though. So it's kind of more like a, I use it more as a bronzer. It doesn't really work for me as a contour 
product but it's okay like it's just all right and then over here i just have some baby wipes these are the target up and up ones i just have these on hand for swatches and also like if i spill anything i just wipe it up really quick with those and i also have some plain old napkins just in the back because this really helps for whenever i make a mess or if i need to quickly clean off some makeup brushes i just keep these on hand for whenever i need them and this is my rcma no color powder i use this powder the most um, it's just a great setting powder honestly I really like it and this bottle has lasted me for so long and just some tools in the back tweezers eyelash curler I don't always use those every day this eyeshadow palette has been my favorite so I just leave that in here it's the Anastasia modern renaissance palette let me show you guys how much pan I've hit on this it's really dirty. I'm sorry. I need to clean this. This one is definitely my favorite that I've tried from Anastasia and I love this burnt orange shade. It is so good. I just think this is a wonderful palette and I'm really happy that I did buy it. I waited though. I didn't buy it like right when it came out but I do really enjoy this one. It's so pretty. And last but not least over here are eye and brow products and this drawer is probably my most filled because I do like to rotate through my mascaras and like pair them with different little combos so I just keep every mascara that I have open at the moment in here. This one is the Buxom Lash. I used to love this one and I still do. I just kind of got back into it. This one is so good for length. It's just a really nice everyday kind of looking mascara. This one is by Pacifica. I love the packaging first off. Can we just like stare at that i love it and it's their aquarian gaze water resistant long lash mineral mascara um honestly this is not my favorite but it works really well for lower lashes like if you ever want like a good waterproof one for the lower lashes this is nice so i made it work for myself but i actually didn't buy this i want to say i got this in a beauty box i just don't remember which one this right here is a lash primer it's from l'oreal it's their voluminous primer i love this primer it is so good for thickening up your lashes i talked about this in a couple of get ready with me's i think but i really like this one and it's only like six bucks so great deal i love this i love to pair this actually with the buxom one and then i have a just a plain old Too Faced better than sex mascara just kind of use these up but they're not my favorite like i said i just feel like they flake too much but it does give good volume i will give it that this has been like kind of a new love to me the benefit precisely my brow pencil i bought this a couple months ago at old I really like this you guys it is so awesome so on this end is the actual pencil and then on the end it's just a little um, like brush to comb through your brows I do really like this pencil but I am open to trying other ones like even if it's drugstore which I actually did recently buy a new pencil just because it was two dollars and I was like girl I heard a lot about this that's the elf one I'm still testing this out it's okay so far I don't think I'll repurchase it though it's just not the right shade um, I've actually been using a lot of powder for my brows lately and then just putting a little bit of pencil but I still prefer this one and then I do have a couple more mascaras this is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes yeah I'm not crazy about this one either I think I just got it like in some sort of gift bag I'm not too sure but I always seem to end up with these like somehow this one keeps coming back in my collection but it's just it's just not what I need it to do like I feel like the only thing this really is good at is lengthening I don't feel like it gives any volume at all so I actually paired this one up with like the Too Faced or whatever I have at the moment so I'm not gonna ever buy this myself like this just kind of makes its way to me somehow but it's okay I have um, two eyeliners here these are both pen liners so I have the Kat Von D tattoo liner I love this one I think that it is very worth it I tried it back at the makeup show and then I loved it so much I had to buy it it is that good it is just amazing and I also really like this one it's actually by crown brush they do have some makeup products I'm not sure how much this one goes for but it is very black I do like that about it I love this stuff this is the NYX matte liquid liner I love this one but it's more of a brush tip it's not exactly a pen like these two um, it's still really easy to use though and it is matte so I love that it is just dark I love how black that one is it's so good and this is the Lancome I think Hypnos Drama yeah I can't see myself going out of my way to buy this one I just feel like it didn't do enough for my lashes um, I was sent this by Lancome Pixie eyebrow gel I've been using this lately I just got this from Pixie. it came in like one of their I think eyeshadow sets and I do like this it's, it has a nice tiny brush to it but it does get dirty kind of quickly since it is clear it works well though I do like this I would consider buying that and of course I got the Maybelline Shrek and Copper here this is my favorite eyeliner 
eyeliner. I love this. The formula lasts all day in my waterline. Um, that's what I use this for. I just wear it in my waterline whenever I have like a warm eyeshadow look and I love this. I always get questions like what are you wearing? What is that? Um, and it's this. I love it. It's really good. I've bought a couple of these now so I, I do highly recommend that and I love it. And then I think I just have like a little Makeup Forever brow pencil. I just use this to actually darken my beauty mark. So it's just a plain old pencil. You can use whatever. You could use an eyeliner, whatever you have. Um, but this one's water resistant, so it stays put on my skin. And then in the corner, I just have a few more products. These are both pencil sharpeners. I use this one for my eyeliners and this one for my lip liners. Um, and then I have my Anastasia dip brow pomade. I don't use this as much as I used to, but I still like it and I have that in the shade Auburn. And then back here, I have my gel liner. This is the Maybelline Eye Studio one and it's just black, I think. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was requested by those of you who follow me on Snapchat. So if you have any video requests, let me know over there. You can always send me a snap or a tweet or just leave a comment down below. I would love to know what you guys want to see next. What's in there? What's in there? <laughs> Bye. Say thank you for watching. Mwah!